Hey Sammy fam, we're at Nathan's today and we're about to go get a whole bunch of hot dogs. It's been like a year since I've been here. So I'm looking forward to it. We're gonna try like one of each, I think. Maybe, I forgot what they got on the menu. So let's just get inside and check it out. Alright, so we got original hot dog, we got cheese dog, bacon cheese dog, chili cheese dog, corn dog, oh mac and cheese dog, shit, we gotta get that, okay, yeah, I think what, original cheese, or should we just get the bacon cheese, original cheese, bacon cheese, chili cheese, mac and cheese, that's five dogs. And a corn dog? Yeah, and a corn dog. Okay, six dogs. I don't know if I'll make it through this, but we're gonna try. It's good fine. Thanks. Yeah, can I get an original, a cheese dog, a bacon okay. cheese One hot dog, one cheese dog. One bacon cheese dog, one chili cheese dog, one corn dog, and one mac and cheese dog. Okay, so you have one hot dog, bacon cheese hot dog, mac and cheese hot dog. Cheese dog, chili cheese hot dog, and a corn dog. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Here to go. Uh, uh, here. Yeah. Or here. Thirty-three. Thirty-two. Here you have, sir. Thank you so Enjoy so much. Have a good day. Oh my God, guys! This looks amazing. Wait, I think she forgot a hot dog. Wait, I got nervous. I thought she forgot a hot dog. It was hiding underneath the other hot dog. Oops. All right, so we gotta find a place to sit. It's busy here, but I see a table in the back. Look back at these babies. Oh my God. Your daily dose of Americana here, guys. Oh my god, I can't wait to dig into this. And actually, their corn dogs, if I remember right, are really good, even though you wouldn't really think about it. But let's get going. All right, guys, let's dig in. Uh, as the running theme, I totally complete to get. Com as the running theme, I totally forgot to get napkins. So let's dig into like maybe the messy as well. Cheese, the chili cheese dog might be the messiest, but look at all that bacon. Like holy crap. That's a lot of bacon. I'm very excited about it. Mm. It's so deliciously like crispy and bacony and the wonder of fake cheese. The I adore. It tastes like the dirty mess that is America. Mm. And when you order here, no, Dina, I was joking. Come your dogs are brought like right, fresh off the griddle. The person who takes your order goes behind, goes to the griddle, gets fresh dogs, assembles your whole meal for you. Mm. It's just all just like piping hot. Mm. And you can hear all the seagulls because we're right by the ocean. You can hear the roller coasters going. I love it. I actually came here once after I got injured on a roller coaster. I was ride, riding the um, the Cyclone, the big, like, is it the oldest coaster in America? No, I don't think it's the oldest coaster in America. It was super old, um, wooden roller coaster. It's nothing like spectacular, but it's short and fast and it's really fun. Historic, a very Brooklyn thing to do. 
and I was riding it in the very last car, and we hit the bottom of the first like the first hill, and I felt the like the bar in front of me was pushed so tight against my chest, I felt it like push in further, and something like felt bad immediately, and I knew something was wrong. And so the rest of the ride, I was just going like. Uh, it turns out later, I found out I bruised my perio cardio sac. Is that the word for it? The sac around your heart, the fluid-filled sac full of water. I bruised that and hurt myself real bad, and I like, couldn't exercise for months, couldn't exert myself, because if I breathed heavily, if I, my heart pumped heavily, it was just extreme pain in my chest. Um, but I came here afterwards, and they had like giant 36-ounce beers or something you could order, and I had a, like 36-ounce BBR. And then I went home. And that might have been like the 4th of July in 2012, maybe? That might have been like that. This is a plain dog is good too. Like no sauce, just the hot dog itself. Very flavorful. Lots of everybody's favorite flavor, sodium. But also juicy. The casing has a good snap to it. And the juiciness goes well with the bun is like slightly toasted. This is a tad bit dry, but then the juiciness of the hot dog balances it all out. Now, the mac and cheese dog, I think I'm gonna go for next. A new menu item. I think they just started adding like mac and cheese as a side for some reason, like who comes to Nathan's and wants mac and cheese, but sure. Subway just did the same thing. Like I'm not eating Subway mac and cheese, no thank you. But the nice thing now they have mac and cheese, you can do the mac and cheese dog. Though, my favorite hot dog is taken off the menu. That was the peppers and onions dog, which was the sauteed peppers and onions on a hot dog. With peppers and onions contrasts the, uh, the fattiness really well. The sharp flavor, great. Can't get that anymore. I did notice after I finished ordering these that you can uh, ask to have sauerkraut or sauteed onions put on a hot dog, but it's in like small print at the bottom of the menu, and I did not realize that until it was too late. So here we go, mac and cheese dog. Check it out. Let's just get a little nibble of the mac and cheese though. Not good, but you know. Mac and cheese not good on its own, with the hot dog miles better. Yeah, the mac and cheese is kind of like flavorless. Obviously, obviously, it's been sitting in the sauce for a long time, so it's overcooked. Well, I didn't have high expectations for the mac and cheese itself. I'm fine. One thing I would suggest if you come here, um, go on all the rides and stuff you want to do beforehand, because this will knock you out. I mean, especially if you're trying to eat six. Or at least give yourself some time to let it settle before you go and ride the tilt a whirl or whatever. Or one of the new, like, faster, scarier rides I have here. They have some cool carnival rides here. I've come here before and gotten the like day pass and had a lot of fun. The steeplechase ride, not super scary, but super fun because you get to like ride on a horse that's mounted to the, um, I keep wanting to say subway track, the um, roller coaster track. It's not not a real horse or a dead horse, but a horse thing that you like ride on, like a kitty horse, plastic, and uh, then it shoots off. You know, it's one of those magnetic ones. It's really cool. Uh, the, Corn dog is like super crunchy. You know, doesn't look like some factory made corn dog. The irregularity of it is comforting. Mm. And it has that good corn flavor that a lot of uh, like store bought corn dogs a lot don't seem to have because they lean more heavily onto the flour side than onto the corn flour side. 
It's not called a wheat dog. It's not called a bread dog. Corn dog. And this is corny. And you can see the cornmeal like, on the exterior. I love that gooey inside, crunchy outside, perfect. Mm. I should have got a drink, but I didn't know how I was going to carry it. I love the crunchy bits on the end of the stick. I used to come down here for um, 4th of July often. Last year I just stayed in my apartment. I don't know what we're going to do this year. Okay. Might come down here again though. But this will be super busy. Like this will be, like it's busy right now and it's a Tuesday afternoon. And this is just a cheese dog. Plain, simple, good. I've yet to try the chili dog. I haven't had the chili in so long, I don't remember it's good. Off the top of my head though, I haven't tasted what I tasted so far. If I were recommending something to you. I would recommend the, um, just get a plain dog and get sauteed onions added to it. Or if you're into sauerkraut, do that, but sauteed onions are really good. Of course, their bacon is pretty good too, so. Um, you're not gonna lose any way you choose. I'm getting the meat sweats. I wasn't sure if I could make this, but we're getting there. One last one. This is the uh, chili cheese dog. Of course, you can just get a, che or a chili dog, I think, but it's funner to get the combo. Man, I've had three different cheese dogs today. The chili actually makes it a lot nicer because it, like, the tomatoiness bounces all the fat, which the cheese adds, you know, extra fatty flavor. I'm stretching my capacity. And it's enough to get home after this. I would roll myself home, put myself in front of the train and let it push me. No, I did it. I just ate five hot dogs and various toppings and a corn dog proud of myself. I wouldn't be good enough to compete in the actual competition, but in my own heart, I'm a winner. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I gotta go. I gotta go try to get home without dying of some kind of meat heart attack first or salt stroke, but I'll see you next time.